man. Slow, slow, slow. I'm going slow, man. I'm no. about to crap my pants. No, don't crap your pants, but slow down. Oh my god. night whenever we checked into our campsite for the night the uh, host asked what kind of bread we wanted in the morning so she went and got fresh croissants for the campers amazing I love Italy today we are heading into the Dolomites National Park so the Dolomites are a mountain range there's a national park that is ranked the number one most beautiful national park in Italy so obviously that's our first stop Ellie's very excited. Ellie's pretty excited about her next nap, I think. Got the dishes done, most of them. Clean then, diapers, ready to go. Nice. I realize we haven't really showed the inside of the RV really at all, except for the super brief period yesterday, so. Here is the bedroom. <laughs> there you go. Lots of stairs for such a little space, too. Beautiful views of the mountains. Today we're headed up further into the Dolomites. I have to go first get my passport back though because you give them your passport whenever you check in and then the next morning you go back and pay for your site and get your passport back. <laughs> Bathrooms, mountain. Hey puppy. Pulling out of our campsite this morning and because it's a little bit of a gnarly turn, Peter offered to pull out the RV this morning and because I don't have a large sense of pride, I said, go for it. It's mostly the fact that it's a very steep hill getting out of here and with a clutch, that's where it's the most difficult and I'm gonna show you why on the way out. All right. It's hard. Let's do it. This is what's called riding the clutch. Mm. I'm just kind of keeping it- In between. See, it's just keeping me from you rolling You can't really back. see it all around this corner either, huh? No, so you're gonna have to ease out and nose yourself out into the intersection. Oh, let's do it. And you're gonna have to do it. I can pull over right here. What is it? Oh, we're going to the right, right? Yeah, I'll do it for you. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, just need to, there we go. We're just gonna pull over right here, and now you can take it from here. Day two. Day two, headed into the Dolomites. Thank goodness for Peter. <laughs> it would have been so stressful trying to like learn the manual and everything before we got on the road, so I'm extremely grateful for him. We were going up a hill yeah, and instead of down shifting, okay. he up shifted, uh, lugged, I think the engine stalled out, stopped so on a hill, on a curb, tons of cars Which behind us. Yeah. Ellie was crying. So we're running now. Okay. So. What a place to learn manual. <laughs> We're just gonna go right back on the highway. We're gonna switch. He's gonna take over. I'm a little nervous, but I feel better. I'm here, don't worry. Did you see the road we just put on? That was yeah. good, that was oh good. Bro, I would love for you to get us out of here. Yeah, you want me to get us out of here? Ellie yeah. is fussing because she's hungry. Heath has been trying to get us to where we need to go. He took the similar ETA route and ended up in a ZTL, which is where we cannot drive. So now I think he's just gonna switch driving with Peter and we're gonna try to get to the National Park. For calm and happy, what we need to do is we could stay right here with the four ways on and nobody's bothering us. And if you want to feed Ellie here, I think uh, nobody will bother us. I'll talk to the police if they come through. And then when we're ready to go, we'll I'll hop behind the wheel and get us out of town here. <sighs> I need to like walk around and de-stress. <laughs> 
So we're just sitting here in the middle of this little piazza. It's beautiful actually. If I didn't have to drive out of here, it'd be awesome. <laughs> We've been sitting here for about 10 minutes and my hand is still like shaking a little bit. <laughs> Allie's fed and happy. Happy baby. Yeah. Yay. All right. That literally makes everything so much better. <laughs> What do we do here? I got it, don't worry. Okay. Be grateful you're not driving, baby. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> are we are we fitting here? Yeah. Okay. We're fine. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you're driving. I right could now. have licked that guy. You're so close. <laughs> So we were headed to uh, the stop inside the National Park and we just passed a sign that said 2.5 meters high and we're 2.8 so we're going to have to make a UE uh, on this road real quick. Yeah. 2.5! Yeah, we can't go. We can't go at all. And there's not a place to turn around. We just pulled over on the side of the road but there's not enough room for both motorhomes to make a U-turn so we're just going to keep going straight and hope that we can find a place where we can get off of this road and still get to the national park because this is the only road that goes to where we're trying to go right now. Oh, that looks like we can make it. Oh, we can make it. I'm going through. We have insurance, right? No, this is not even close. We're fine. John would honk if you Oh, yeah. We're totally fine. But this might not be the one, though. It might this get smaller. Going. Yeah, good. RVing in Italy is definitely not boring. Oh, this is whoa! So let's just pull over here and have lunch. I love it. Peter was adamant that we keep going. We went through that first tunnel. There's definitely a sign that's like no trucks, two and a half meter clearance right there, but there's a nice pull around. And so we pulled off and look at this view. The perfect scenic lunch stop. I need to walk off <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I didn't even drive like the last 30 minutes, but I'm, my anxiety level is still high. Look at this view though. Oh, <laughs> Thanks Lou for lunch. You're welcome. Now that we're parked, I feel like we can breathe. Like, <laughs> Italian roads have a reputation. Tiny, fast, curvy, hilly. They're worse. <laughs> <laughs> it was to be expected though. So we went into this knowing that we were renting a motorhome and that we were driving into the Southern Alps in Northern Italy. And we just kind of realized, like went into that with that in mind and realized like we've driven a lot of mountain roads. I have never driven a standard before this trip, only practiced once, but I think that's worth noting in this video is just that we have driven a lot of RVs and a lot of mountains over the last five years. So this is not the first time we've done this. If I had never driven in the mountains in an RV or driven stick, it would be ridiculous to do this trip. But all that to say, the views are more than spectacular. We think this sign means that we have 14 kilometers until... A convertible! Until it's two and a half meters clearance. But I'm not sure. None of us are sure. Oh, uh, it's fine. Helps take the brake off. Okay, we're gonna risk it. I love it. I, I will look... Fine. I will look through the window up at the top. Wow, that looks cool. Very rocky. From my view, you've got plenty of room above yeah, you. I could here. I could stand up on top of the rig and be fine. And really fourth long. tunnel. Look at the view. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Cool. Oh, you can't see the end of this one. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh. I honestly can't believe that we did that or that we made it. Through all the tunnels and the tight hairpin turns, we made it to Capini del Britain. Cadini. I Cadini, Cadini del Britain, right in the middle of the mountains. And we're kind of tucked away in this valley. It is absolutely gorgeous. Peter, would you say it was worth the drive? Every bit of it. <laughs> well, oh, I, we guess you'll, seen the I guess you'll yet. know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the views so far have already been worth the drive. We'll jump ahead. 
so beautiful. What do you think, Ellie? Is that pretty? <laughs> This was an incredibly stressful first full day of mostly just driving. Stressful in like an adventurous kind of way. Like oh, we yeah. knew what we were getting into when we came to Italy and today it happened, but it was also like nothing went wrong. We got here, no scratches on the RV. I feel like now you, cause you're the one driving, are prepared for anything because it can't get worse than it was today. <laughs> Did as you far just as, say that? Is that a jinx? <laughs> Literally couldn't be any more perfect. It is so beautiful. It was worth all the sketchy tunnels to get here. Oh, totally worth I was it. pretty nervous, but. But now we know. Motorhomes can make it. Yeah. We're driving through a construction zone and there's people walking on the road. This is our wrecking go. Okay, they lived. All right, Emma, I take the Let's do this. Is that the rule? <laughs> <I'm dumb. laughs> Weird. <laughs> 